Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and this is where we chat about all things EDC and my concealed carry journey. Today, I decided I'm swapping out my Skeleton Hellcat holster for a Zero G holster from Eclipse for my Rose 365XL. So I figured now is as good a time as any to show you guys how to put a Zero G on the Enigma because I get this question all the time. So let's get into it. Now, the Eclipse Holsters Zero G holster is a holster with no hardware. I got a, I got a comment when I unboxed this on do they package with the drill as well to make the holes. No, there is no holes. That's the beauty of the Zero G holster. There is no hardware on here. So this is their Delta holster. So this is the holster that comes with the mono block and the Delta wing on it. Now, as you can see, holes, no holes. Okay. Now, the reason I like to put the Zero G holster onto the Enigma is because it is so skinny. It is so thin. It kind of mimics the skeleton holster, which is again, a holster with no hardware from Filster. So um, it's very skinny, very thin. It gets you the best concealment. This holster, as you can see, comes with a little bit more, hold on, comes with a little more lumpies and bumpies all throughout it. So this one, super skinny, super thin, makes for great concealment. So what you do is when you are purchasing a zero G holster, it comes with Velcro, which you can Velcro this holster to anything. Um, I also use the zero G holsters in my fanny packs, but you just let them know that this is being used for the Enigma and they will provide you with a uh, fixed retention hardware, which is the hardware that's right inside there. focus. Um, as you can see, this is a very solid piece of plastic, whereas the adjustable retention is little rubber washer grommet type things that just kind of smush together so you can adjust the retention on the holster on how, you know, how heavy you want that click. There is a little bit of an issue when going from a fixed retention or an adjustable retention to a fixed retention because you have to have that same amount of click when putting it into a fixed retention holster. So if you get the fixed retention hardware from Filster itself, just like in a bag, uh, it you might have to fiddle around with it a little bit to get it to where it clicks in properly and there is no way that it falls out. I had a little bit of an issue. Um, I had to like stack a couple on a different uh, holster that I was using because it wouldn't necessarily um, adjust down far enough to where you got that click. So the way that the holster is attached to the Enigma is by the mod wing. So as you can see right there, that's the mod wing. So this wing here, has a slant to it. So I might change over the wing on this one because um, I do like the slant. It kind of pushes the lower half into your body a little bit more, which then counteracts with pants and pushes it all the way up. Oh, you need the wing on the Zero G. When you're purchasing it, you need the wing on this holster in order for it to go onto the Enigma. And all we do, we unscrew the two screws right here. And <laughs> it can get kind of annoying because this can happen um, where the two screws just kind of twist and turn without actually doing anything. So you have to apply a lot of pressure to the back and unscrew it that way. All right, your thumb's gonna hurt after this. Apply a lot of pressure to this back piece. There's friction and it unscrews. And I'm choosing to do the rest of this with my um, fingers because the whole thing is going to fall apart. So I try and keep, if I just did it with the screwdriver, it would fall apart. So I'm holding it together as we do this. We just unscrew these screws from here because we don't really need those anymore. We're going to need the super long ones so that it goes through the face plate. Okay. So I am keeping all of this together. All right, I changed it to not cinematic mode, so don't pay attention to my background. Um, so 
to see if I can do this without dropping it. So we're going to put the face plate over top of this right here. Like so. Trying to keep the wing and the face plate holes all lined up. Then we're going to take the long screw that you get. You can try and use these little like um, washer things, but I'm not. So take the long screw that comes with the Enigma and we're going to screw it in by our fingers first to get it going. And then screw in the other one. Okay. All right, now we can do the rest with a screwdriver. You do have to keep a lot of pressure on the back pieces so that they don't twist and turn as you're trying to screw it in. And then you're gonna wanna try and go as tight as you can. So the reason you use the fixed retention versus the adjustable retention spacers is because you want to tighten this down as much as you possibly can. If you were to tighten it down as much as you can with the adjustable retention, you would never get your gun out of the holster because it would just be basically locked in there. Um, so I am going to switch out the wing because as you can see, it, it bows out the front of the faceplate a lot. So I'm going to just pop this off. So as you can see, that's a lot better. It does not push out so far. All right. And then we're just going to tighten these down as hard as they'll go. And there you have it. And moment of truth. And there she is. Oh my goodness, how freaking gorgeous. I love it. All right, let's put her on. I have not tried to conceal the P365XL yet. Um, it is a little bit bigger than what I'm used to. I like my subcompact, so I do have an issue sometimes concealing this grip, so we'll see. Fantastic. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope this helped answer some questions that I get pretty frequently on how to put the Eclipse Holster Zero G onto the Enigma. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Uh, if you have not done so already, hit that subscribe button. I never want you guys to miss a video. And if you enjoyed this content, give it a thumbs up for me. It means the world. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys.